thanks for stopping by the channel my name is Mark and today we are continuing Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, I think we're on episode 9 and we're on our way to go and see eagle flies uh, so yeah let's get there you came of course I came said I would there's a foreman his name is Danbury there's the files in the office above the refinery room it's that window with the blind drawn up I see if the files are as incriminating as we believe Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Uh, if you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Yeah, let's get in the back of that wagon quick. I got more guards. Hey, right. Tom. Four or five. Picking up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. We just bail out here. to the factory. We want to be upstairs first, right? Shit. Looks like going in on the ground floor. I want to stealth kill this guy, but there's two of them now, so that's out the window. Wow, all these machines and... Wow, they're all actually working as well. I actually know how all that works. Steam compression is right in here and turns that big wheel, yeah? The pistons going backwards and forwards are so cool. all the boilers. He's shoveling coal into the boilers. No, he's just pushing up. Yeah, I think we can get this last guy. Hey, how is he getting here? Shit, I, heard, I hope nobody heard that. You 
Must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Then we're gonna beat them. <clears throat> oh, holy shit. Damn Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. Uh, does it matter? You're not from head office? Come on. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice floor as this. You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Yeah. Uh, let's get out the window. Holy shit. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, Whoa what the hell? That eagle flies. We create a diversion for us. Did you get the documents? Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. They're coming after us. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. 
Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna head back to camp and see what's going on around camp. Uh, sounds like some trouble over there. <clears throat> Charles. Okay, so we're back at camp. Gonna have a look around, see what people are up to. Oh, there's Jack. What's up with Jack? What's up, Jack? Good morning, Uncle Arthur. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Let me know if you find candy. What's he looking at in the tree? Nothing. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? Um, sure. We always like talking to Mary Beth. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Wow, it's such a pretty morning. Sadie. Let's go and talk to Sadie. I've not spoke to Sadie in so long. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the... San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. Three. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. Oh, I'm in this bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I want to do the bank. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. Say that? I say Lenny. Not Micah. Oh. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't a joke, Dutch. What is that? Ugh. It's oh, Kieran! Oh my god, Kieran! He took his eyes out as well. Everybody take what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Jack! 
get him John. Fuck. I'm not ready for this. Oh. Oh. Women and children inside. Charles. Hold your ground. Shit, where the fuck did these come from? There's too many, what the hell? They need help. Get down there. Doing fine, Radio Dutch. Fuck's sake, Dutch, I was doing fine right there. Damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. Get in. Everybody get in. Stay away from the window. Getting sick of these fuckers. Get in, get in, get in. John, fucking step. What? Oh my God, I'm shaking. At the moment, let's try and keep it there. Charles, Charles is with us. Yeah, we're kicking ass now. Shit, they're pushing us back. Why is there so many? Shit, there's too many. Get in, get in. Charles. Charles. Oh, fuck. You okay? Go. Shit, I'm coming as fast as I can. Give me this thing. Doing it, pushing them back. Kieran. Here. Uh, oh, uh, poor oh kid. my God. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but 
Not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pierce, oh, Miss Grimshaw, uh... already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. I can't believe they did that to Kieran. He asked me to go fishing and I didn't, you know. Oh. Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. Yeah. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. I really wish I'd gone fishing with him now. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. The kid? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Morning. Morning. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. I don't know what to tell you. Soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? Yeah, so let's get a haircut. Um, smooth look for smooth sailing, I say. There we go. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Brother it's Dawkins. Morning. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> none taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. God, I think it's that kid that robbed me. Hollywood, no. Shit, can't get a gun. You alright? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. <sighs> hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, little, mister. Uh, little bastard. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh my god, it's no, Miss. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, uh, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! 
Someone help me! Officer, help! <sighs> Shit, I need to run. Through here. Just hide here for a minute. It's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used to frustrate me. But then, over time, Mr. Morgan. Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh. I hope the boy... Oh, he's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. Ooh. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. Okay. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Oh. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Okay, I guess we're Ladies doing it. And gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we just uh, want money. Don't make all us your kill money you. Now. Don't make Mr. me F, ask twice. Please, these George, fine folks of their valuables. Mr. F, check that room back there. Put. I got this one. Diamonds. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let okay. my acquaintance Give inside. Give me everything you got. Quick. All right. There's everything, okay? I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, oh, of course. These folks must have some moment. Come on. Do you want me to frisk him? Or you got this? Is he taking his time? Come on. These folks must have some money. Oh, do we have to loot them all? Okay. By and by me. Now, I'm gonna need <laughs> There's everything you got on. What? Okay. There's nothing really oh, here. Sure. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! No, no, je vous en supplie. Mr. L, all right, we're in. Say it. Sure. Come on. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Just open it. Open it. Uh, this doesn't look. There's quite... almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Oh ben, shit. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Holy oh, shit. No! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley! The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Oh god, Dutch! Go now! <laughs> Does this trolley go to Tahiti? <laughs> uh. Look out on the right! Mm, 
We're good. Watch those side alleys. You got someone about me too? Yeah. Must have called in every cop in the city. Stop side. Oh. You are right there, kid. Marjorie, coming out of the bank on the right. Bronte is gonna take out of this. Fucking Angela Bronte set us up. What do we do to win? Oh damn. We are really moving here. We're good. Damn. Damn. <laughs> well, that went wrong. That was a bit rushed and sloppy, that robbery. Wasn't thought out. Oh shit, got more. Why have I got this piece of shit gun on me? What are we doing, Dutch? God, this is going so wrong. Why did we just do that? Right, I think Dutch is... We can't let them follow us. I think Dutch just wants to get to Tahiti so bad now, we don't care how... We'll plan it right though. Now, oh, shit. Steal a kick this carriage. No oh, damage. Yeah, let's set the wagon. Exactly. Perfect wagon just sat here. Let's get it. Everybody on board. Yeah. Looks like 
<laughs> Use full of holes that dude. Causing trouble in said Denise. Every one of them hit the horse. Fuck. Oh. Using horses again. Lenny, move your head. Dutch. Yeah, just get us out of here, Lenny. Dutch looks uh, kind of fucked up. He doesn't look happy. <laughs> what was he thinking? God, you loony. He took a hit on the head, but I had a look at it. He said his head hurts. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, and we each got... Fifteen dollars. <laughs> oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. <laughs> set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. Mm. He don't want the likes of you. Thinks so, he's smart. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Lenny, I like Lenny. He's so funny. Arthur, come up here. Oh, okay. Evening, Arthur. Hey, Kelly. Dutch. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. 
farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before. I really and hope. Usually, I've been right. I really but hope he is right. So, quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come I on. I don't want to lose anybody see else. A, man about a boat. A boat. A boat. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. You're all right now, girl. Okay, follow me. Oh, I will be right, Dutch. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Saint Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. Hmm. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... What? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. No, don't. Of course not. Don't want to this do isn't that. a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. Mm, he has got a point. simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Mm. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Whoa. I can understand Dutch. He is doing a lot. He's got high hopes for everyone. He wants everyone to stay together and move away and be happy and free. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. <laughs> we'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it.
Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh, uh, we, uh, we're going in. Ugh. This is Dutch. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Mm -hmm. Arthur, check the traps with me. Shit. I will get us there. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Oh, they just fish. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. <laughs> Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. There's a cat. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. What's that a trap? Yeah, it's a trap. You can see why even in the swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. <clears throat> yeah, we need the boat. Where's the boat? Stuck in the mud. It happens. Uh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. No, neither do I. I, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. I'm not shooting. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. I 
should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, it's over here. Here we go. Tired. Hey! Someone there? Oh, there's someone. Hello! Oh, I don't like the fact that he's hiding up a tree. What's he hiding from? Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh, oh boy. Shit. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> We'll see any giant monster. Ooh, ship it Long down the spine. Before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Mm -hmm. Pull. Oh, I'm afraid. Holy Jules. shit, he's gone. Shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Oh. He would send me Dutch. There he is. Go. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
que hacer con algo. Shit, he's gone. I'm looking, I'm looking. Holy shit. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you covered. God, oh God, no. Please hurry. Can't run anymore. Shit, this is like Jaws. Give me the boy. We'll try and run, run out the run. It's getting closer. Go, 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 go. Grab him, grab him. We made it, we made it. Oh, oh his leg. Give me these, please. Express, express. Holy shit, he's still alive? Just hold on. It's coming right for us. Come on, I want to kill this thing. Can I throw dynamo? Surely that must have hurt it. Coming back. Oh, his head is in the way. Get it. And your guns are getting overheated. Shit. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Wow. Boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. <laughs> uh, There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure I'll hold on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay. If he don't get a fever, we can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. Oh, God. shit. Here we go again. Um. Put every bullet you got in him. He's under the water. Shit, 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 shit. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. 
Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Well, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? Oh. Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. We got monsters out here. Okay, Dutch is just over here. Let's go and see how he's doing. Things have not been going according to plan lately for Dutch. Or for any of us, for that matter. Arthur! There you are! Come on! Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. That's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay, okay. let's go. Come on, John. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. At least we're with John. I never run with John Marston, I feel safe. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Oh shit, I've got none, did I? Holy cow, what's wrong with me? I can't hit him. coming from holy shit right come on let's get in shoot that lock 
Damn right. Come on, let's get in there. We got more inside. Ooh. Shit. Oh. Check one and blow his leg off. There we go. Um, let's have a smoke. Upstairs. <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah. That was so cool. Go. Oh, God, this gun just obliterated his head. Right. He's got to be in one of these rooms. Uh, loot real quick. Oi. There he is. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay. Okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Ooh, Ooh nice one, John. Ah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Oh, really? Oh, I want to loot him. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Come on, John, we gotta go. Come on, they're coming from behind. I thought we just run. Just run, guys. Get on your friend, Ron. Put him in the front. Bill. Bill. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pussy. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving a pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. 
A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. Hmm. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. <laughs> Our friends of Major are gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch! Part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Wow, Dutch. I think Dutch is losing his mind or something. He seems really stressed out. Uh, I'm gonna get some eat, get some tonics and stuff. this um apple can't take any of them cheese i want some cheese i'm telling you that this is the way to do this job the distraction will buy you all the time you need i don't like it the right plan. We've done the work I've been in town. Looking. Watching and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. I just... Well, between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose, I suppose that's it. You're never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> You're sure? Good morning, Arthur. Certain. <gasps> well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. And certain... Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I'm scared. I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead, but the plan. We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Yeah, Dutch. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light.
You got everything, Arthur. Sure. Oh, look so at us. We rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank. <laughs> yeah, let's get this done. This is it, gentlemen. <clears throat> the last one. Oh my God. Where have we heard that before? I feel kind of nervous. What happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized, boat down to Argentina, and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that, it's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police? Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on. Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh, God. We got the whole gang with us. Fucking Micah as well. Oh, this feels, I don't know, feels something really bad about this one. Or maybe good, could be good. I just don't see everything working out to plan, to be honest. Calmly does it, fellas. Act normal. Hitch up here. Gentlemen. I feel like I should clean the weapons real quick. No crime at all. Folk like this. They stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this is better work. Looks like there's all over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John. Will you please? That they wasn't a bad shit. As soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon. No wonder I couldn't kill no one. Holy shit! <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist! Whoa, I thought he said it would be a bit longer than that, but okay. Let's do it! Ah, oh, God. Equip mask, I think I feel like I should. Thank 
Oh, it's the bank. Okay, now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? Oh, oh these mask is sick. Yeah, no problem. Put these are bad boys away, sir. Open the vault, come on! Right, we're in. Here we come. Come on, not, I've not Let's done go. the rest. Okay. Oh. Think we got a problem so out quick. Here. Fuck. Come out. It's over. Shit. Abigail. Dad. Abigail. I'll Get say you. Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. I got Mr. them Bill? Pinkertons. Let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. I'll see ya. No! Oh my god. God damn it! This is Oh my god, this is bullshit. I'll see ya. Dutch. This is bullshit. Are you are you Where's that Milton? This is bullshit. Yeah, they killed him, alright. Like that, fuckers. He's dead, yeah. He's dead. Abigail. Where's Abigail? Shit, there's a lot of them. Shit. There's a lot of gunfire out there. There's no way that we're getting out that door. Take this. The wall hole through that wall. That wall, okay. okay. <laughs> nice one, Dutch. Oh my god, I can't believe Jose is dead, though. Fuck 
can hope one of these is Agent Milton. Doubt it though, right? Oh shit. Shit. Oh sh no. I can't see the damn thing. No, I can't. Come on. Got him right through the eye. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Jose, didn't... he shouldn't have gone out like that. Come on, Lenny. What? what the? No! <coughs> no! Josh, you got Lenny. Oh, he is. Damn, oh my god, he is we well dead. There's nothing we can do. We can't even take him with us. All of you, we gotta keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. We gotta keep moving, quick and quiet. Come on. Dutch, watch out. Careful, there's more law down there. Class. You seen anything? No, not yet. Find them. Find them. Come on. Shit. Looks like they're heavily patrolling around here. Everyone clear. Oh. Arthur. Going in there. Arthur, we can get in here. Yep. Okay. Come on. I can't believe we just lost Hosea and I Lenny. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we going to stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're going to get every last one of us. I know they're going to be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Boats, come on! Stay down and keep quiet. Looks like they've stopped. 
We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. Rest of you. Follow when it's clear. Already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. Damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Yeah, I'll whistle. I can't believe how wrong everything just went. I can't believe we just lost two gang members and I don't even think we got a quarter of the money. Did you hear that? I just feel like everything's going to shit right now. Still just sinking in about what's just happened. Wow. <clears throat> I wish it was fucking Micah that just died. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. Hmm. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What no, we should stick about? together. You heard what I said. Charles, I can't... Oh, I like it. Real brave. Oh, God. What in the hell? We should stick together. Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts in. I ever saw. Come on. Yeah, but where's he gone? Oh, I, ho I hope Charles is okay. This Dutch. some gold I'm sure this boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance I don't know John Lenny Jose that wasn't good I know so what are we gonna do now <coughs> guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain 
Give him some of this gold to secure his silence, and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> Bill's pants. That cloud look like good news to you? Uh-oh. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Archer! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. What? What's wrong with Arthur? Why is he coughing? I've noticed him coughing once or twice now. Holy shit. 